Hey folks, Clyde Lindsay here at Leechburg Lights. Thank you for taking the time to be with us today. I have a video today I'd like to do on the X-Lights software and before we get started I'd like to remind you to go to www.xlights.org and please click on the donate button and make uh, make a small donation, make a donation of some sort for the wonderful software that you're using. Even though it is free, it is also important to support the developers that that house the uh, house the data online that have the forums and the network and and all the time that they really spend in making this amazing software available to all of us so today's video is on X lights and as you can see here we've got one heck of a setup this is uh, the process work of doing the 20 17 layout for Leechburg lights and I'm gonna flash over here to what it looked like before all of this as soon as I get my alternate tab set up so this here pretty much is my display as I ran it in 2016 for 2017 I plan on adding the the uh, modular matrix columns uh, and replacing these little fire sticks with columns on my columns pixel columns um, I also plan on uh, adding the uh, icososphere for the top of the tree here I plan on adding a new mega tree star and uh, this peak star now will be moved over to a new mega tree so that's what's on the list for this year uh, most everything has already been taken care of and already uh, in it built or in the works so um, uh, it, what I wanted to do though is I want to go over this infamous universe channel uh, universe and channel start versus the absolute channel system that we're using in X lights so um, somewhere along the lines the developers added this wonderful ability to uh, instead of using this absolute channel to go in and you can select it and you can open up this dialog box and you're no longer bound to just the absolute channel you don't have to use the just the start channel from which you see on the setup page you can go with what's called the output uh, the output number you can go with the universe number so you can use universe and start channel uh, you can also chain models together whenever you have a series of models say dumb RGB I have these uh, five uh, snowmen I have these um, I have these uh, candy canes down here I have my reindeer you know they're they all modeled one one after the next so I can chain them together by selecting the model or I can uh, I can start them at a similar model so um, that's what I want to do today and I'll tell you why this is important so for many people I have started out with X lights uh, by importing my LOR data all my sequences in from LOR and for many years for two two three years now I've preached that in order to pull in my data from LOR into X lights I had to have everything in numerical order I had to have the same channel count in each universe that I had in LOR and that now as I know in three years later it's simply not the case it's not true and um, but what I did whenever I did this I severely limited my channel settings my actual outputs to only be able to use this many pixels for this universe now is that good or bad no it doesn't really matter but the problem is is whenever I want to add something new I have to scroll down here go to the bottom like I wanted to put these new arches in so uh, I have to scroll down here and I have to add it in down here well as you can see I wasn't consistent I just kept using you know the exact channels that I was going to use for each individual prop and now I have no flexibility say if I want to take the the pixel star and I want to make it a uh, instead of uh, 270 channels maybe I want to use 450 channels for it now I can't do that and plug it into the same universe because if I do that'll change all of my absolute channeling to everything else down below it so the limitation of the of the absolute channel is that if I if I start with something up at the top or close to the beginning and I change the start channel here and it changes this end channel now all of these others if I decide to increase the size of my models here if I increase the size of the universe now that all can cascade and I have to change the beginning model to everything I don't want to do that 
So the developers have come up with this method for switching out your start channel to a universe and this is multicast this is now uh, this is unicast you can select any universe that you're going to output on uh, and what I spent the day doing was converting so many of of my uh, items in my layout into the new version of universe and start channel versus the absolute so let's go over here and have a look at the display um, I've done a lot of housekeeping. A lot of models have been removed. These are all old models that I have not used or I do not wish to use any longer. Uh, I still have a lot of work to do to get this to work the way I want it to. So I haven't deleted anything just yet because I need to go back through and I need to open up all my sequences, copy my sequencing from those props and paste them into the correct props that I will be using in the future. So um, as you can see here, on this screen um, this is uh, a little different than absolute channel numbering see here you can see this is my reindeer number one reindeer number two number three number four number five uh, this is actually reindeer the model and it's a custom model it has all nine reindeer in one and I decided to separate them out and just create a, uh, a group a reindeer group where they're all in there uh, where you at reindeer group right there oh and I highly recommend anytime you build a new group make sure that you write the word group in there it makes it so much easier to know whenever you're creating your um, in your sequencer tab when you right click into your edit display elements when you go to add something you're looking for the word group here and then it's easy to just click and add in so there's a quick tidbit so back to the layout as you can see I went through this is took me like I said this took about eight hours to do today eight or nine and uh, now I am freed up pretty much to increase all of the channel sizes from my original LOR layout in now up to uh, editing all of them to uh, actually I think I can do bulk edit um, let's let's try that edit right click bulk edit channels yep see I can go now and I can change these all to 510 and now any of these I can I'll go ahead and save it because it doesn't matter now um, I don't have to worry I am not tied down any longer because I have all of my universe and start channels labeled and there's some things that are chained as well let me show you the chain so here's a let's see window this is a window frame I have I have dumb RGBs on a window frame and then I also added GE color effects to them. Um, I've set this is window number six. I've set it to start channel. Universe one start channel is 31 in the universe. Um, what I did after that was these two windows are chained together. So if I click on that one, it's chained. You can see that it starts at the channel start is GECE -E window number six. Now to go ahead and do that, you just click on this dialog box. Always change your start channel to one in a chain and you use the end of model. So I know I started with channel number or uh, window number six was before window number seven. So I click OK and then I can save. Now if I'm if I'm looking at what 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 universe was that 40 if I go to universe number 40 that means I have the ability in universe number 40 I think I zoomed past it to not limited to 144 channels but I can increase on that now if I want to add another set of GE color effects at the end of that to do some sort of something simple uh, there on the front porch then then I am able to do that now I can put a prop here I can hang something here uh, or over here I can do something I'm I'm I have nothing to hold me back now any longer from changing a universe for a prop so it's much easier now to think of channel mapping in a universe start channel fashion and it's also easier for me to uh, to assign it whenever I go into my controller configurations for say the Falcon F16 V2 I can just go in and say universe uh, whatever and uh, you know here's universe 19 for the mega tree and start channel is one and uh, I well with the with the mega tree is super simple you just clone the strings I have a hundred in each one so um, 
but pretty much I am free to set up do uh, to change my entire setup throughout my entire display and uh, and I'm not worried about absolute channels any longer so guys I hope this answers a, uh, a couple of the questions I know this video gets a little long but uh, what you need to do is if you're interested in trying this out I would go ahead and I would hit the F10 and I would back up your uh, I would back up your models and everything. Let me go to my Nutcracker. Uh, let me go to my Nutcracker folder. If you go in, if you if you don't do uh, automatic backups, I do on start backups. And um, this here is my final backup from 2016. I'm not using it for anything other than just to display. Here we go. This is this is my last 2016 screen, so I'm not saving anything here, but I've updated it here so you can see the differences and the changes that I've gone through. But this is important so that if you screw up, you can always go back to something where it was concrete, where it worked, and you can go in and you always have your, uh, let's order this and go to the end here, your your XLite's RGBFX backup and your RGBFX.xml file, which is all of this data here. So, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video made sense. Uh, I did really did try to make this as short as possible, but there's a lot of content in, entailed in this, and I really wanted to be specific about a lot of things. So, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Remember, uh, th uh, I really appreciate everything that you guys have done. Um, and always keep working with X-Lights and enjoy it. Thanks. Bye.